online challenges keep reaching new lows on social media. Of course, recently it was eating Tide Pods. Well, now there's something called the condom challenge, and we can't even show you the whole thing. But our Paula Tutman tries to explain the dangers and why so many young people succumb to online temptation. So I ran into Dr. McGee on his way into the medical unit, and, and I really wanted his thoughts on how dangerous this is and, and why kids are doing it. Well, you know, kids see things on the Internet. They think they can get away with it. And, you know, 99% of the time, they may just have a little discomfort. They may just feel a little irritated. But 1% of the time, something serious is going to happen. These challenges come and go. The Tide Challenge, the Cinnamon Challenge, the Ghost Pepper Challenge, and the latest, the Condom Challenge. By the way, do not try this at home. Not sure who was the first to try this, but it actually involves nasally ingesting or snorting a condom and pulling it out of your mouth. Cynthia Reynolds, our local for First at Four child expert from First Family Counseling in Bingham Farms says, you know what? Many of us did stupid challenges as kids. The difference now is social media exposes more kids to more stupid things to try. And so some of them actually do. It really just stems from seeking attention. And the best way to get the biggest bang for your buck is through social media. You know, kids have always sought attention, you know, decades ago, but now they have a bigger platform to get it. But it's not as simple as just copycatting. Developmentally, this is where teens are. That's one of the developmental phases that they're going through to be accepted by their peers. What's particularly dangerous about this challenge is it creates a choking or asphyxiation risk. The thing is, those don't make the internet cut. And that's the unfortunate problem. Kids just don't see the real danger that happens infrequently but often enough that they need to think about it and not do it. No one is shooting and posting the kid who got an infection or pneumonia or who choked to death. And so kids don't see that. As usual, our experts say parents need to dial in and talk to kids about the danger of following others, possibly to their peril. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Uh, our child experts also want to remind you to keep talking to your children about what they're seeing online and doing on social media. It really is a conversation that never ends.